This is a flight where everything went correctly, so let's have a look at it. At the moment we are descending, passing flight level 220, uh, doing 300 knots. Uh, let's have a look at the traffic, uh, not much traffic on the uh, ND and not so busy on the radio, so we can expect a shortcut at some moment. The, because we expect a shortcut, the distance here will not be correct on the FMS, so we'll just have to look at the VOR distance or the range arcs. At the moment uh, it shows 75 miles, but that is straight from the current position to the uh, VOR, so we do a little bit more than that. Um, we are still more than 50 miles away, so our profile calculation will not be exact if we, uh, if we do that here. So let's just wait a bit and see what is um, what will happen. Uh, from experience, uh, I know that when you are at the, the lab here, at the altitude restriction, then uh, we will be on profile if you will get a shortcut. So um, we, before we call an early descent, so um, we were descending below profile, but now we're getting back on profile here uh, where the VDEF is in view. Okay, so let's skip ahead a bit and descending here and uh, anytime we can expect our shortcut now. Now there's a bit of uh, weather, so we have to avoid that also. But um, okay, so here at this moment we get our shortcut. Uh, before we do that, we can uh, we are approaching about 50 miles here, so we can, uh, looking at this uh, VOR, we can do our own calculation to see if we are on profile. So let's take 50 miles times three, so flat level 150. We're doing 300 knots, so we should be at flight of all 120 for, to, to slow down for 300 knots. Now, it looks like we're on profile. We're not quite uh, at 52 miles. We're not quite at 50 miles yet, but uh, it's just an estimate because, again, it's, it's, it, this distance is straight to the VOR. So it looks like we're, we're on profile quite nicely. Okay, at the moment we're oh, at the moment we are slowing down to 250 knots for flight level uh, 100, and also there's a speed restriction at the lab here for 248. So let's say 250 knots. So so far so good. Okay, so here we get our shortcut, and now we can see exactly how many miles we have. So it says 48 miles. So let's do um, a calculation for uh, 40 miles. So 40 times 3 is a uh, flight level 120 and we're doing 250 knots so um, let's take uh, 2000 feet to slow down for that and so we should be at flight level 100 when we're at 40 miles okay so let's skip ahead a bit so it's 40 miles we should be at flight level 100 and almost exactly there you go so we're on profile good now there was uh, some weather on the approach here exactly on our track so we don't want to fly through that so we're gonna ask for a heading and uh, fly around the weather so the track miles shouldn't change too much um, but regardless we keep doing our calculation to see how we're how we are doing on profile. So the next calculation will be at uh, 30 miles. So 30 times three, it's 9,000 feet. And we're doing 250 knots. So minus 2,000 feet to slow down. So that's 7,000 feet. So at 30 miles, we should be at 7,000 feet. Okay, we're at 37 miles at the moment. So let's skip ahead. And there is 30 miles. And we're at 6,500 feet. Okay, so it looks like we're getting slightly low on profile. Uh, we have a bit of a tailwind though, and the weight is uh, 56, uh, 57 tons. So we are quite light. Um, yeah, it's not a problem, but I decided to um, increase, um, of, uh, go to uh, vertical speed a bit. Let me see, go back here, uh, right there. So the re I, I reduced the vertical speed a little bit here. Uh, just to uh, to get it back on profile because I figured yes we have a bit of a tailwind it's not that much but it's also a bit of light so it kind of cancels each other out and then we slightly below we're 500 feet below profile so I'll just go go back on profile okay not too long don't forget to uh, go back to open the sand once you um, back on profile otherwise you can end up high now you can see here also that the speed started to slow down reduce uh, from 250 to um, to uh, to 30 uh, that's because of the speed restriction here. Uh, but because we're on the heading, that doesn't apply anymore. So I increase the speed back to 250. Okay, so next profile 
calculation we'll do at uh, 20 miles or we probably will start to slow down actually at that moment so um, let's wait for that okay so at 5,000 feet you want to start to slow down to green dot speed so let me skip ahead here and right there so uh, approach phase activated manage the speed so we slow down to green dot speed okay uh, also uh, let me backtrack a bit uh, about here ATC told us okay on this heading you are clear to intercept the localizer so we can see that here okay so that uh, worked quite well to avoid the weather okay so there's 5,000 feet slowing down and approaching 20 miles okay we're, we're still slowing down so the calculation for 20 miles will be slightly off if we uh, well we could do that uh, let's say we are green dot speed at uh, 20 miles so 20 times 3 is 6,000 feet uh, minus uh, 1,000 feet to slow down, so we should be at 5,000 feet at uh, 20 miles. Okay, now we're a bit below profile, but also we're not quite at green dot speed, so... Uh, let's do the calculation for uh, 15 miles. So, uh, 15 miles, you should be at uh, 4,500 feet, just remember that. And we, because we're doing green dot speed, you want to be at 3,500 feet, so minus 1,000. So you want to be at 3,500 feet at 15 miles. That looks like that's going to be just fine. So we can say we're in profile. Okay, I went to vertical speed here to uh, start to slow down. Um, let me see. Yeah, okay, so there's a bit of a uh, cloud. It, it is a bit hard to slow down the aircraft, so sometimes you have to you know, reduce the vertical speed uh, a bit more um, to uh, force the speed to reduce a bit quicker. Okay, so now we want to uh, start to uh, configure at uh, 15 miles. You want to start select flap one. Oh, I was just referring to actually I was looking at the wrong distance. That's a good example also. So going back a little bit, uh, looking at the distance on the FMS here, actually that is not quite accurate because we're not flying the track. What will be more accurate is the um, the DME from the ILS. So that, that is, uh, you can see this at the moment, it says we are at, the, let me see, 20 miles. Right there. So at the moment we are 20 miles from the uh, ILS DME, but it says uh, 22 miles on the on the FMS because uh, we are not flying the track. So it'd be better to use this distance here. Um, so doing that calculation again, 20 miles times three. So um, 6,000 feet minus 1,000 feet to slow down, slow down 5,000 feet. Okay, we're slightly below profile, but we're also not at green dot speed, so that's good. Okay, so at 15 miles, you want to uh, start, uh, you want to select flap one. Uh, again, looking at the correct, um, a distance uh, we should look at the uh, glide slope DME here so let me skip ahead a bit more and uh, waiting for there's uh, 15 miles so we can start to uh, select flap one here and uh, not quite yet let me see right there yeah okay so now we got the uh, flap one selected and we can slow down to s speed now uh, now you should start should start to look at your altitude where you are relative to the glide slope so there's two ways to fly the approach. You, you can either uh, fly, if you are below the glide slope, you reduce the vertical speed a little bit to um, so that you are one dot below the glide slope. And once you're one dot below the glide slope, slope increase the vertical speed to keep it there in this case we are further uh, below so what we're going to do is just fly level at 3000 feet and wait for the glide slope to come in at, when it's one dot below the glide slope we're going to select flap two okay so uh, reduce the vertical speed keep it level at uh, 3000 feet and then when we are one dot below the glide slope right there ask for flap two and that will be the perfect situation in this case so uh, let's see there we go flap two selected there's glide slope star and set the go around altitude now next we want to uh, see when we are going to configure for um, the, the rest of the flaps for the approach and that depends on the speed so if, the, if your speed is on the high side from the middle upward you want to put the gear down at uh, 2500 feet if it's from the middle downward at uh, 2000 feet will do also taking into account the, uh, the, the wind we have a bit of a tailwind here it's not that much we're also quite light so that that, uh, that won't make much of a difference so uh, either way you can elect to select the gear down now it's kind of in the middle it's slightly high okay so put the gear down now 2500 feet and um, configure keep configuring flap three and then flap full so there's flap full let me skip ahead a bit 
and uh, approaching 1500 feet and we are stable on speed and fully configured. So that was it. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please consider buying my book Practical Descent Energy Management. It contains loads of examples of how to manage a descent and approach and it is the only book available on this subject. There is a paperback and an ebook version available. You can find a link in the description below.